Good morning, y'all. Making an attempt to make a video while I'm driving on my way to work. Um, like I said yesterday in my video, I was uh, my boss said I could go home early, and I did. I went home early, trying to hold my Mardi Gras beads to the side. Um, and I was held from my, talking to my son because his his wife at the time, and I say at the time because, oops, um, he's currently going to be getting a divorce from her. Um, he's one and done for right now. He's one and done. Um, she's she's run him from the marriage world right now. When I say run him, now we always hear about these women being domestic violence against, you know, um, you very rarely hear about these men being domestic violent, being domestic violence against. Well, um, I've never heard of a man having domestic violence, you know, a woman having charges brought up against her, but now that my son, you know, seeing what happened with my son, I, I I've seen it. I'm a believer, you know, um, I see that it happens not only to women, but to men too. And, and this is not only the first, but I know of a person who, whose cousin was married to the same woman and had the same thing happen to him. So my son was his, her second victim. But y'all, on a stack of Bibles, I'm telling y'all, on a stack of Bibles, this girl's got it coming to her. She's going to meet the right man. When I say that, I mean, when she goes to put her hand up to this man, this man's going to lay it down to her. That'll be the last man she hits. Because when she goes to hit him, he's going to give it to her. And when I say that, I mean, she is going to ask him to stop. And when he does it, she is going to feel the wrath of what she's been dealing to these two men that she has done beat and jumped on and hit and non-stop. For the times and months and years that she has done this to. You know. And then she's going to want to beg for her mom and her dad. And she's not going to be able to call them. She's going to try and run away. He's not going to let her. You know. So. That's what I mean when she's going to get due justice to her. You know. I don't wish any ill against her. I'm just saying she's going to get what's coming to her because when you deal out yours, you're getting yours. You know, because that's the devil inside of you that you're dishing out. So when the devil's going to come for you, he's coming for you, baby. He's coming for you. Because you made a deal with the devil to do something to somebody. So get ready because... He's finished with you. He's going to go into somebody else. And he's going to come for you. And he's going to have them do to you what you did to these two men. And it's not going to be free. So, I mean, it's really, really sad that these men's lives or messed up because you know my son I mean you can just look at him and, and see that he's damaged you know he's not the lively person that he used to be I mean it's it's like he's scared to you know to be a human again you know I just hope and pray that 
God just feels him so full of life that he could go out and um, be, you know, get connections with back with us and his, his father and and everybody, his family and his kids, you know, and, and get a connection back with his children. You know, his children is the ones that missed him. You know, his kids are the ones that missed him. You know, that got robbed from from him, you know, not seeing him, you know, because of this girl. She played a big part in it because she didn't want him having anything to do with them. She didn't want him paying child support to his baby's mama because, you know, even though it was for the children's benefit, it was given it to the baby mama for the kids and she didn't want him having a job because of it, which I think was kind of stupid because, you know, who are you to say, don't do it? You should have been encouraging him to do it. But you did. You know. I mean, here I thought he didn't want to get a job. And I was fussing at him. And all this time it was her not wanting him to get a job. <laughs> and she was arguing with him telling me he didn't want to get a job. And it was her. Because of the child support. Wow. feel so bad for arguing with him because I thought he was not trying to get a job, but it was her. You know, I feel, I really feel bad, you know, because she would holler at me because he was not getting a job and he was being lazy and all he was doing was sleeping and he didn't want to get up and, and you know, do anything, but it was because she wasn't letting him. And I was like, damn, you know, son, get up, do, do something. This girl wants you to get up and get a job. That's why you got married. You got to support your family. You got a whole nother family too, plus your kids. But he would never tell me. He didn't tell us until he moved in where he's at now and was safe. And now we know. <coughs> so, now that we know, we know what's been going on. And he, uh, is being dealt with. So in a couple of days, I'm waiting on some paperwork to come to my house, and we're going to start the process. When I say process, I mean process. <clears throat> and I'm tired of this, this girl. You know, you lied to me for the last time. You kept my son from me, and... Now I have my son back in my life and I'm not going to let no one get in between my relationship with my children again. No man or woman. My kids' lives are precious to me. My grandchildren's lives are precious to me. So. And I don't give up on none of my kids. I always pray for all of them, you know. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video and I will download it sometime today when I get off. It's going to be after 5.30, so I will talk to y'all later this evening when I get off. Y'all have a blessed day and keep the prayers coming. <laughs>